Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to the video for Monster Hunter Rise. And in this one, I thought I would round out update week by putting together a list of eight items, mixture of armor and weapons, that you should definitely consider crafting or picking up in some capacity because they are incredibly good and they'll be useful when using your mix sets. Even if you don't want to craft anything else, even if you don't want to craft all the armor sets, these are a select few items that you definitely shouldn't be sleeping on. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. If there are any more items that you think are worth mentioning that I perhaps didn't include in this list, let me know what you guys have been grabbing. But to begin with, let's start off with uh, one of the Elder Dragon sets. Let's start with Teostra, the Kaiser Crown. This is, of course, the Teostra Helmet. The reason this one is good is because if you are working on critical builds, then uh, this has three points in critical eye and it has one point in critical boost. There is obviously another critical option which we'll touch on shortly, but this is a nice option. It also doesn't carry any of the kind of like Teostra set bonus pieces, so you don't really have any wasted points on here, and you do have a level one slot. Not exactly amazing on the slot front, but regardless, it is a nice helmet that you can use if you want to put together a crit build. However, that being said, on the topic of critical stuff, then uh, if you really want to lean into Critical Eye standalone, you do have the Flame Seal Eye Patch in at number two. This is, of course, a uh, another really nice item. You'll kind of recognize it as sort of like the Dragon King Eye Patch from before, that sort of thing. Obviously, if you just want an eye patch, you can also just craft it as layered. It's just kind of a cool aesthetic design. But if you, again, do want to lean into critical stuff, then uh, this is just four points in Critical Eye straight out the back. No slots, so, you know, you are a little bit limited, but the fact that you don't need to spend points in uh, slotting in critical is still going to be quite useful. So for those of you kind of working towards, say, those 100% crit builds for things like Naga weapons, this is definitely useful. If you want a quick rundown on how to get this, then Paradise Central put together a video, which I will link down below. Moving on from there to item number three, we are of course talking about the Ninja Sword and the upgraded version, which is the High Ninja Sword. Yes, I did of course do a video on this, but since we are pulling together a list of uh, eight handy items, this one has to go in this list. It is of course great for Sword and Shield users. It has an astronomically large chunk of green sharpness. But what's cool about this one, aside from the uh, 200 attack, is the fact that it has 100% affinity, 50% on the base version, 100% on the upgraded version, three level one slots, so uh, kind of useful. Design-wise, it's incredibly cool because it is just a blade with a uh, bracelet. So basically, if you're doing shield basher combo, you're punching the monster in the face. But the fact this has 100% affinity means out the gate, you do not need to worry about crit skills. You don't need things like weakness exploit or critical eye, anything like that. You can just focus on other things like attack boost and bludgeoner and mind's eye and slugger and all those things you want. So this is a fantastic pick. Jumping back to the armor, we're now talking about the uh, Camellios helmet. Basically, the helmets on the Elder Dragon sets are actually pretty good. The Camellios one, the Mizuha Cap, again, only a level 1 slot, so a little bit limited on the slot front. But this one has Mind's Eye, Ballistics, and also Evade Window. Mind's Eye, of course, you know, making it so your attacks do not deflect. You do have two levels in that one, so it's not too far to max that out. Ballistics, of course, nice for the ranged weapons, and Evade Window is just pretty handy. So all up, that is just a pretty nice helmet to use uh, if you were to want those skills. Then moving on from there to the next mention, this time around we are turning our attention to the Rachna Kadaki Bow, which of course is not a new item. Rachna Kadaki Bow has of course been in the game since launch, but as of the update it now has an upgrade taken up to Rarity 7. So previously, this is of course what it looked like. It used to have spread level 3, pierce level 4, pierce level 4 and pierce level 4 shots. Meanwhile the upgraded version now has pierce level 4, pierce level 5 and level 5. So the pierce has gone up. And it's also worth noting that as of this update, because Pierce is now a decoration, it's also a lot easier to make these kind of work. Sort of Pierce bow is actually like a very viable thing now. So this is a very nice bow, nice affinity, nice attack, nice slots. You can of course, uh, you know, slot Pierce into that. And you do of course have the upgrade to your Pierce shots. So Ragnagadaki bow, if you were sleeping on it before, is definitely something to consider if you like Pierce bow. After that, your next item is the Kushala helmet this time. Kushala Daora helmet, the Kushala Glare. Again, level one slot, so slot wise, pretty limited, but this one carries two points in handicraft and two points in normal slash wrap it up. So for the Blade Masters out there, handicraft, useful regardless, especially with some of the newer like Kushala weapons, which can of course boost up to white. So definitely a, a nice thing to have if you want handicraft, really easy way to just get that in a set. Plus, of course, normal wrap it up is definitely nice again for, uh, you know, bowgun ranged playstyles. So consider using this one if uh, that is in your build. 
Outside of that, there is another secret item that you may not have encountered, especially if you haven't gone all the way to the arena, and that is the Feather of Mastery. This is an item that uh, is definitely useful for those of you guys trying to get the most out of your farming. So this carries Carving Master, which is a skill that you'll only get from this item. You also can't craft this, you get it as a reward. And in having this, it gives you an extra carve in your hunts. So obviously, if you're trying to farm stuff, you're trying to get gems, trying to get anything like that, having an extra carve on everything, guaranteed, is fantastic. And if you want a complete guide on how to get this item, 269 put together a video, which I will also link down below. And then finally, to run out, we also have a couple of pieces from Basil Geese. Basil Geese armor is really useful because especially the arms and the waist, these combined are very good for uh, both charge blade and gun lance playstyles. The gloves have one point in load shells, one point in guard up, and they have two level two slots, which is fantastic. And the waist also has two level two slots, and they also have load shells and guard as well. So basically, with these combined, you'd have two points in load shells. So for gun lance, that's more shells. For charge blade, that's better file filling. And obviously, you then also have guard, guard up, and four level two slots, which is fantastic from a uh, mixed set point of view. So there you have it. That is a rundown on uh, eight items. I guess technically nine, if you include the fact that I chose two basil pieces. But eight items, you should definitely consider picking up from the new update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to keep it locked. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 Paradise Central and Vestmore streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.